What's up, peoples? Hey, guys. And welcome back to the House of Mouse. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Hope y'all had a pretty great, 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 great <laughs> week. A lot of great. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah, of course. We hope that it was really, really great. Yeah. We had a great week. How's, how was your week? It was pretty good. It's been busy. Yeah, it's been pretty busy. busy. A lot of work going on, a lot of stuff in, in, in play, so. And a lot of mommyhood going on over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what did we do this week? Uh, we went to this little, uh, I'm about to say hole in the wall, but this not little like hidden not. spot, I guess is what, what, what we like to call one of our um, uh, Central Florida's uh, hidden jewels, I guess. You yeah. Know? We found it um, online and we went and checked it out. You know, so it was pretty, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. They had a lot of cool things inside there. It was a brewery. Um, brewery, I think I didn't say that. <laughs> Y'all check it out. Check it out. So hey guys, we're out here at this place called Plant Street Market. Have our mask on, so sorry if it sounds a little bit muffled, but we're at this place called Plant Street, Plant Street Market and it has a brewery here and it's supposed to be like a market with like a bunch of different things on the inside. We've never been here, so it's gonna be pretty cool to see what they have in store. The whole family is out. We all have our mask on. Yeah. Yes. Check it out. Guys, there's lots of really cool places in here and we're just kind of looking around seeing what they have um, they have some pretty good looking things like donuts and um, that cheese thing looks really good to me obviously because I love cheese I love cheese they have a butcher in here a brewery they got a mac and cheese place yeah so I don't know what we're gonna get but it looks really good. That's a pizza place? It's a pizza place in here too. Coal fire pizza. Huh. Yeah. Looks good. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. What are your thoughts? See, this actually is a problem. Because it doesn't taste like beer. It tastes like juice a little bit. I know. It <laughs> tastes like a, like, a, like a grapefruit juice or something. Yeah, I think it's because of the guava that's on the inside of it. Well, see, that's a problem because you would just keep on drinking and forget that it's beer and then you know four yeah, cups in five cups in you're like oh boy <laughs> so, 
Yeah, guys. So this apparently is like a. She said it's a, it's called Saida with yeah. an A, and it's um. What is that? It's, what what? Saida. What Saida. I don't know. Maybe that's just how they call it, man. Saida. That's not a different language or anything. What? No. Oh, it's just okay. cider with the. You know, like when you're trying to be cool, you just say cider. Oh, you want this? Okay. Yo. Um, yeah. So it's a. Uh, has guava and it's apple, right? Apple cider. It's apple with guava. guava, yeah. Guava infusion um, flavor. So, yeah, we like it. Melvin is particular when it comes to his uh, his ciders. You know, he likes red apple ales, but I don't like red apple. Well, no, I like, I like, um, I like the apple ale flavored ones, but they got rid of all the different flavors, so I don't really mess with them. I don't like red apple ale. I like the, um, what's it called? Angry Orchid. That tastes less beery to me than the um, apple ales, but I personally, this one tastes good because it tastes like juice. It doesn't taste like beer, because I don't do beer. Let me tell you guys a story. So, Wait, hold on. before that, the male's sipping on whatever's in his cup, too. Water. Ain't nothing but water. That's, that's holy water. <laughs> All right, go with your story. So, when was your guys' first drink? If you drink at all, you know, you don't have to at all. But, so the first time I had something, I had a beer because I wanted to be cool when you go on cruises. <laughs> when you go on cruise, I had to take a moment of silence because, you know, we still can't cruise. And it's not, it's not fun out here. But, um, yeah, so I had my first beer on a cruise and I decided because everyone thought it was cool to drink Coronas with a lime on the inside of it, okay? And it was disgusting, disgusting. That was my first and last beer. And Lamel thought that was funny because it was disgusting, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was just that. <laughs> so I will never drink Corona ever again. For more than one reason. That, that drink tasted pretty good. Oh. Listen guys, if you're not a beer person like me, I don't like beer. I don't like taste beer. I don't like any of that. If you like crisp, cool, and I love wine. Well, I love wine. Sounds right. I don't partake in. Uh, I don't partake in Satan's nectar. Yeah, you so. drink beer. That was, it is fermented that was, and has alcohol. That that sounds was right. that was tasted more like juice. But it wasn't. Alcohol. It wasn't. It was alcohol. <laughs> Anyways, it was very interesting. It was like it was just some type of guava. Yeah. Sounds Apple beer. It was supposed to be a and cider. It, it, oh yeah, cider. It's a cider. But it tasted more like a grapefruit juice. Yeah, it was really good. And and so and um, it's really good, but it's dangerous. I'm tell you why. Because I was drinking it, and I was just you know just drinking it as just you know, normally. And I was like, you know, man, I just need a burger right now. We had just ate, so I wasn't yeah. really hungry. But it's like if I just had like a burger or something, this would be great. And the problem with that is, I could have had probably about four or five of those. You know, just like toss them, like toss them back, and that would have been good. <laughs> yeah. So I almost so. got a second one because it was really, it was really hot. Um, yeah, and, and that's the and other part. It's very hard. refreshing tasting. Like I can understand why people drink beer because, well, especially after like a run, like a marathon, a lot of people like vendors put beer after a marathon because apparently it's like refreshing drink to have. Well, anyways, it was super refreshing because it was so hot. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I mean, the fact that we live in Florida, it's 100 degrees almost every day. Ridiculous. You know, being in the middle of the summer. It's hot. You know, it, it actually tasted pretty good. So that's why I was like, you know, we had that, our, our little small glass and then, you know, we we're pretty much good. You know, drink responsibly. Yes. You know, and, so, and but, yeah. make sure you're up age. And up age, yeah, yeah. Uh,
of age. That's so, important. Um, but yeah, we, so it, was, it tasted really good. Very dangerous in the fact that you don't realize that you're actually tasting beer, but it tastes pretty good, you know? And this spot also had- Lots of food places. Yeah, they had this place so called- They had this place called Mac Out. Now, I'm not really much of a mac and cheese type person. She is. But Love I mean, well, no, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. Let me correct myself. I'm not really much of a cheese person. Mac and cheese I enjoy, but I'm not like a person that's just like cheese on top of cheese on top. I'm just not Wait, like that. How you how does someone not like cheese? I mean cheese cheese smells cheese. like feet. Sounds dry. It smells like feet. Enjoy cheese, marvelous cheese, wonderful cheese. She likes it because I it smells cheese. just like her feet. Yep. You're so but rude. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm not much of a cheese, cheese on top of cheese type person. I enjoy my share of cheese. You know, a little bit here, nachos, a little dab on there, burger, a slice, you know, mac and cheese, I do enjoy. But I'm not like that type of person. However, I will say this, as we were walking by that spot that had all of that, it was called mac out. it was a mac and cheese joint. Stuff looked really good. Sounds it looked good. really, really good. You know, I, now the smell was very strong because, like I said, it was just like a strong, cheesy like type smell. I didn't but the smell but anything? Oh, well, I did. It it smelled it smelled a lot. Must be smelling it up a lip. Whatever. Anyway, it was it, was, it smelled it, it was it was very very strong. It was but I mean, but, it, but it looked good. But it looked good. They had another spot. They actually had an oxygen bar, but of course it was, it was closed. closed. Yeah. I mean, well, no, no, it wasn't closed. The oxygen part. Yeah. Yeah. She, because we're first, still in. Like a, yeah, we're still in COVID. COVID. Yeah, you know, so they that portion is indeed not available. And no, cruises are still canceled. Yeah. Still. But I do one day would enjoy, um, would like to try. Well, I, I actually, you know what? I don't know if I ever get the opportunity because I always wanted to do an oxygen bar. I don't think I ever will now that we're. It's new times. Yeah, new times. So I think I missed my opportunity. I should have did it last year. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, they had even a butcher there, like where you can get meats and um, like sausages and things like that. Oh yeah. And yeah, they yeah. had they had a tea shop where you can get custom teas yeah. and a coffee bar, kind of cool area. So it, it, it was, was amazing because it was yeah. just so Oh, they had a barbecue things. joint in there. Yeah. I'm going to tell, tell you, as we were walking by, I don't know who Buddy was back there on the grill, but he was getting it in. Because, like, <laughs> he, he was getting it in and that food smelled good. I was like, I was a little upset because I was like, this is the one time that I went to, we went to one of our, our, our enjoyable places to eat and I was upset that we went there. God's chicken. Yeah, we went, we went there and, you know, and I was upset that we went because we ended up going to this spot and they had like some good food it was it was no chain of course no chain, no chain but and all the food looked very good smelled good i was like man i wish i had a just we should just wait you know but we waited too late to eat um to eat and uh in the day so then by the time we left the house we were very hungry so yeah. we had to get something to eat you know? yeah i would love to go nice. back there though it was pretty great and yeah, I, I, yeah. it had nice outdoor space and it was very, you know, scenic. Now, I will say that although it was very great, um, it wasn't large enough for the amount of people that were there at the time and right now. So there was a lot of people that we managed to keep our distance, as yeah. you can see. But it was a lot of like, I mean, the space, the it's, it was, it's a small market. It's like a little small little market area. So it's meant for you kind of like to go hang out with this is it's really more of a place that you go pre or post covid pre covid yeah pre or pre well, or and post you know i guess like after all of this there's a vaccine and all you know it is all that stuff possibly but Maybe. it's really that type of place so we went out there, we enjoyed ourselves. We did stay long, you know, we stayed maybe about um, 30 minutes. Just enough to drink our drink. Not about much. 30 minutes. Yeah, you know, because you know, we want to get out of the house, you know, as you can see, LaMail had himself a good time. He did, he did. <laughs> he had yeah. his snacks and everything. So, it, 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 so we just kind of, you know, hung out. Masking you know? all. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, then we went on ahead and, and we did. 
yeah, we, we went to look at the few houses, but we couldn't get any footage of that because, you know, some of the houses were people houses. So yeah, we don't want to disrespect real, their privacy. So some real, some real dope houses. But those houses is really nice. Y'all, yeah, we've cool. seen a rotunda inside a bedroom. Pretty, I've never seen that cool. before. It was pretty cool, you know. They, um, it was pretty dope. I really enjoy. I really enjoy, you know. Now, um, on a per, on more personal note, I, I kind of took pieces from like certain stuff that I liked out of each house, and I was like, you know, yeah, this is gonna be what we build, you know, because it's not the one. It's not what I envisioned us in. None, neither of the ones we went and saw. It was just little pieces that that I saw that I enjoyed. So. I like them. Melvin has grand visions for an estate, so. Absolutely, yeah. Our next house is gonna be in the state, so like anything, in Jesus name. Any, anything, <laughs> you know, less than less than that. And as you see, I've said this very confidently. I have no shadow of a, a shadow of a doubt. Next house is gonna be a state, you know. So that's gonna be the place we retire. That's why I say a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing right now, it's more pieces. Like the rotunda part was so fire. I wish y'all could have seen that. It was fire. Because you literally walk into the rotunda of the master bedroom and you have a, a bar. Coffee and bar. Coffee mm -hmm. bar. And, and well, it was a full bar because it had a refrigerator, a little mini refrigerator. Oh, yeah, it did. It was, it was a full bar that you that, that you had in your bedroom and uh, well, inside the rotunda part of your bedroom, and then you go to your right and then you're in your bedroom. Mm -hmm. You know, so and it's connected like, to a balcony. Yeah, and connected to the balcony, you know. Actually, but but that balcony isn't a balcony that I like. The other house we went to, you actually were able to have I think what what I enjoyed about this because it actually had like a view. So you wake up, your bed is facing the balcony, and you walk out and that balcony was actually bigger than it the was one large, the rotunda, yeah. the rotunda. So it's like literally you can open your curtains to the balcony and the beautiful view of the pond and all of that and then you can walk out and you literally have like uh beach chairs out on your balcony well, at least they had out on their balcony so it was yeah. like that part i was like okay i like that I like that balcony and bedroom i like the rotunda part in this house um um their shower was pretty cool too they actually had like a double shower yeah, yeah, like it was like, like a shower room yeah, where you would walk, yeah. like a room where you would walk into. I feel like it's two shower heads on this side. It, it's a spa. Yeah, kind of like a, a spa. spa. That's exactly what it was. Because I think you, I, I think that I mean I, I think they have a feature where you can make the entire uh, bathroom like a spa in a sense. Yeah. You know, really hot. It was you know, really nice because they had so, this like soaking tub and everything. It was just yeah. really nice. It was cool, you know. Like I said, so yeah. pieces, so just yeah. pieces and stuff, you know. But like I said, I mean. I'm, we're gonna have to move to like not country, but we're gonna have to move to the country part of or of of, of of where we are in Orlando in order to get the type of house that we're gonna have. Country. You know, the I mean, there's no land in this city. You gotta move to the. No, I can't live in the country. You gonna live in the country? <laughs> in order for us to have our estate, you gonna be in the country. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty cool. And then we just came back home and we chilled and ate some good food. And Lamel was tired. So he, he went, went to bed. <laughs> he didn't have a nap all day. He did. He had like, like a 20 minute nap, nap. <laughs> yeah, he, in the car. He was staying up. He was staying up. He, he, was, staying up. Yeah, he, he had tired. a nap in the morning time before we left for an hour and a half, but he didn't have his afternoon nap, which usually is around like three o'clock and we were out. So he's yeah. in the stage where he's not napping in the car anymore. He's so. becoming a man. He's like, I don't Whoa. need naps. Well, pump your brakes. I, I no man. He, he's becoming he's a, a man. He's a little boy. He's been growing up and he's like, you know what? Nap times are for babies and I'm grown now. He's still my baby. So just give me a milk and some fruit and a little bit of ice cream and I'm good. He likes chicken tenders. Whatever. He likes crab legs. Let's re reiterate that he likes things that you don't like. So he likes chicken tenders. He is not like Melvin. He likes chicken Only tenders. Only eating chicken tenders. Yeah, he likes rice. chicken tenders. He does like chicken tenders. I won't lie, but he likes other things too. But yeah, that was our that was our day. That was just a really good day. And we just chilled and hung out the rest of the day. No. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. But 
we hope to go on another adventure maybe this or next weekend we'll, we'll see. see what we get into yeah. you guys stick around to see what we're gonna get into in our next vlog but we need you to do a few things for us we need you to like this video we need you to comment down below tell us if you live here in Orlando, give us some places that we should go visit. Give us some uh, suggestions down below. Make sure you hit your notification bell so you never button. miss an episode. Subscribe. Uh, <laughs> Just subscribe. Yeah, and, but the notification bell is important. Subscribe. So that you don't ever miss an episode of The House of Mouse. But yes, please subscribe. Please. Did I make you subscribe? Yeah, subscribe. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Like, what are you waiting for? Just, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join us and in the house. Yeah. Cause oh, and don't forget, um, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. <laughs> well, I don't know how many times we have to say it. Subscribe. Help us out. All right. So we are out of here, and we'll see you next time. Right here in, in the, the house. house. Subscribe.